Hello once again and welcome back to my Pokemon Hacking Tutorials part number 7. In this video I'm going to be showing you properly one of the, well, I like doing it. You should properly like doing it if you like Pokemon Hacking. Probably one of the most likable things you can do in Pokemon Hacking. You can customise and you can change. It's so things. So, right, the first things you're going to need are notepad I've got here on my desktop. Um, also you're going to need a program called PokerScript or PokerScript, I don't know, Pocket Script, something like that. I've got it here. It says Pocket Script there. This little thing here. You're gonna need to download it from certain sites. Um if I find the link I'll post it in the description. But um yep, you're gonna need po Pocket Script and Pokemon Ad. You're gonna need to install them. And then um sorry lost my trailer for okay. Um yep you're gonna need to download them both. Um you'll and then um, poker script with poker script when you're installing it, you're um, gonna want to just leave it at um, the uh, default for where it is. Don't know where it's gonna put it. I think I might put it in computer um, on system. Poker witch. There we are. There we are. There's stuff here. Okay. So once you've done that, you're gonna need to use advanced map and notepad. So there we are. We're gonna open notepad. And um, now we're gonna start off the script. I'm just gonna explain as I go. So first, you're gonna start off all scripts with a binary, binary org. Okay. And we get space. Um, let's think of a name for our script. Our script is going to be called. We need to put the um. Let's. I'll call it the offset thing. It's kind of dollar sign. So let's call it um, script. It doesn't really matter what you call it. So, um, so now. The first thing you want to do is say we're going to talk to someone. So the first thing we need to do, usually in Pokemon games, they look at you, yeah, and they don't move anymore. So you need to go lock, which locks them in place. Another line. You need to go face player, which makes them face you. And now you're ready to start. So there you go. Message, which is going to be a message. And then we go, and we do our offset, and we're going to call it what should we call it? Let's call uh, talk. Say talk, yeah? And then underneath, you need to write that offset out again. Talk. One equals space. And now you're going to want to type your message and say, old man. Old man. We say, hello. Hello. Okay, now I'm going to teach you about certain things. Certain kind of commands you can do on here. So the first one is, I've got on different line slash n that one takes it down one line okay so it ends the speech and takes it down one so we're going to put one here so backslash needs to be a backslash remember otherwise it won't work backslash n okay so that takes it down the line and now it's like uh, let's say it's nice to see you okay now the thing you have to do is you have to check um the numbers in uh, a kind of gap on a line, so it has to, has to be less than 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it's 21, so we don't need to do that, okay? Sorry. Sorry about that, okay. So um, it has to be less than 30 on a line, okay? So now we're going to use our second command, which is backslash p, which doesn't just take it down a line, it takes it down a whole kind of box. It misses out two lines, kind of, yeah? Um, that's mainly all you're gonna use. It's nice to see you. Um, good. Bye. Look after yourself. So we just start counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Goodbye. Look after yourself. Actually, no, we're going to get rid of look after yourself, and then we're going to do backslash v backslash h o one, okay? Slash v slash h o one, yeah. And that is what we use in Notepad for the player's name. So it will say whatever name you've chosen. Put exclamation mark, okay? So that's that. We're going to write box set six. So that's a box he's talking in. Type of box, yeah. Then we're going to go release, which releases him. E N D end obviously. Okay. Yeah, that looks alright. So we want to file, save as, 
I'm just going to say it's desktop for these purposes. Desktop. And we're going to call it. So I'm going to call it test script dot rbc dot rbc in the file name and then save as type make sure you click all files otherwise this won't work and click save okay so now exit that I see I've got test test script up here if I try and open it okay that's work okay it's not then we want to right click and if you've got it all done properly on the dot rbc and stuff there's compile script there if if you haven't done it, if you've done something wrong then please contact me and I'll try and sort it out okay compile script okay and you get out this and this is when you're first using it okay and you click the blue or you can file click well first you want to go click the blue book and then you need to select your ROM so this is from the destination that we're doing this so uh, videos it was fine. This. Um, which one do I want? The backup. That one. Okay. So then, you want to go look for. Click the uh, flashlight thing, and then you want to click this one. Yeah. Just any one. Doesn't really matter which one. And then you want to copy. Copy. And then assign. Okay. And file. Burn. And it'll do that. Okay, if it's done that, it's fine. Okay. Now, see, we've got our other thing here from Poke Script. Now, I want to open up Advanced Map. Come on, Advanced Map. Hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. Okay, we'll open ROM. And open the same one. Needs to be the same ROM, remember? Then we're going to open up the same place. Let's just do a random person. Make a new person. Um, Four. No, free. We are go to my town, Mega Pokemaniac. Legend. Okay, I want to go to events. Uh, let's find a person. Let's put him down here. Um. Okay, settings. Viewing size. Top of that. Okay. Um. We need to add. Let's close this. Okay, we have the uh, first event. Change events. Put person up here. Okay. Go move him down. Settings show sprites. Here we are. So that's the sprite he is at the moment. He's a random person sprite. Uh, okay, so who should we make it? Um, he's an old man. We got to find an old man to do it. Um, here we are. This guy looks pretty old. Oh wait. Here we are. We did this guy. Okay. So once you're doing that, just do whatever you want. No movement. Okay. And then we'll click script offset, and you want to get rid of it all, apart from these ones. Uh, this offset here. Click paste. I know that. And get rid of the and h. Oh, I know. Here we are the and h, yeah? So you got that. And then you might want to click open script. I've got it, sorry. Okay, I just want to say, um you can open your script in advanced map if you set it to the your if you go to settings and choose script editor. But for some reason I can't I don't know which one to choose, if you know what I mean. So if anyone can help me, like, just tell me which one to choose. I will make a video about it, I'll comment, I'll credit you, whatever. I'll say you found it out, not me, I wouldn't take any credits for it at all. I'd just be informing, informing people anyway. So I just just go choose script editor. I've got, I have got, um, another script editor kind of thing. Oops, that's not here. Called, uh... XSE Extreme Script Editor. I personally don't like it. Um, open Script. It's a bit confusing for a person starting out. Old man, hello. It's nice to see. Yep. Goodbye. And then player. See. Yep. So that looks alright. Okay. So just, you might want to do that. If, anyway. So we got this guy here. Yep. So we're gonna do. So we get save. Save changes. Yes. Oops. I clicked open anyway. Okay. So I've saved my changes. So it's frozen. Sorry. Just don't bring Thank you. And we're going to open up our thing in Visual Boy Advance. Hurry up and open. Thank you. File, open. Open your ROM. Okay, so here he is. If you've got a decent ROM, it should work. Okay, so we're going to go up him, talk to him. Old man. Hello. And it's gone down the line. It's nice to see you. Goodbye. A. That's my name. 
and it ends. I say to him, old man, hello, it's nice to see you. But hey, okay, so that's pretty much this tutorial. See you next time, bye.